my stampers so this is card number two of three cards uh, for my January stamp club and the technique is clear block stamping this is the second card and it's super easy and super fun to make so let's just jump in and get started club members will receive an envelope with all their supplies to make this card so you have a piece of real red cardstock and I cut this at 11 by four and a quarter so fold it in half it measures five and a half by four and a quarter there's a piece of basic black twine there's a little tiny um, powder pink embellishment in there and a piece of whisper white and this measures two and a half by five and a quarter so you don't need a lot of supplies to make this card but one of the things that I did do is um, for those of you in my stamp club your card base will already have been run through the big shot using this um, folder which is from the petal pairs impressions embossing folders in the occasions catalog so all I did is I put this right on the bottom section lining these up with the crease on the card and run it through my big shot so I'm gonna go ahead oh and you want to make sure that this is even down on the bottom too so I'm gonna run that through the big shot and I'll be right back okay I'm back and look at that beautiful texture that we've added to the bottom portion of the card I love that okay so I'm gonna set that aside I'm gonna bring my foam mat over because you really want to have this foam underneath your cardstock when you're stamping. So, for this technique, I need block number H, and I'm just giving a little clean. Okay, so I've got my clear block H, and I'm taking my powder pink, and I'm adding ink to one end of the block. Now I'm taking my real red. I'm going to do it on the other end. Okay, so now I'm going to move my paper out of the way. I don't want to spritz it. I'm going to lightly spritz this with water. Kind of let it do its thing a little bit here. Okay. Bring back my paper and I'm going to put this right down in the center. I'm just going to hold it down for just a couple seconds and you can actually see the water and the ink absorb into that cardstock. Okay. So before you stamp on this, you want to make sure it's really dry. So I recommend speeding it up with the heat tool. Okay, so this is nice and dry and ready to be stamped on. I'm using the Charming Cafe for this card. We're using this cute little um, image right here with the I'm lucky to have a friend like you. So let's stamp the little chairs first. In my basic black archival ink. Open that up. And then this is gonna get stamped right onto the red portion. Not pretty. Okay, so now it's time to stamp the sentiment. I really want to make sure that I stamp this in the right spot. So I'm pulling out my trusty Stampamajig. So let's make some space here. Get my okay. So I know I haven't totally cleaned my plastic bit, but it'll work. So I've got my handle in there, ink up my stamp, ink up my stamp again, and now I can make sure that my stamp goes straight and it goes exactly where I want it to. Put my handle back. And there we go. 
So that clear block makes makes a really quick and easy background. So I'm just taking my clear Wink of Stella and I'm adding just a touch of that glitter to the cups, the cushions, and the little vase and flowers just to add a little shazam. Now I'm taking our journaling pen because I want to add a little border around this. So all I'm going to do is just kind of do wavy lines like this. Move this out of the way. And then I'm going to do a second line all around it. Fuse on that. And this will go on the top portion of the card. I'm gonna tie. Oh, look! You can, you, you're gonna probably get ink on your fingers doing this, but hey, that's part of being an artist, right? Okay, so I'm just gonna take a glue dot. Stick it right on that little doodle line and then position that right on top and the edges. And we're going to take a little pink embellishment and put that right in the center of the bow. Little piece of computer paper. This measures five and a quarter by four for the inside. And there's my card. And here's my original card. So you can see that you're always going to get a different background with your clear blocks. So I hope you enjoyed this. And I'm going to move on to card number three, um, which is the last card for my January stamp club, which is the clear block stamping techniques. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching. I appreciate you. Happy stamping. <laughs>